Welcome to Vitrix 24 Roadmap for 2016 presentation. My name is Dmitry Davidov. I'm Vitrix 24 Chief Marketing Officer, and with me today are our social media manager, Yana Prokopets, and Dmitry Valyanov, Bitrix Inc. President. We are recording this webinar session. It will be later posted to our YouTube channel and our blog. If you're watching this presentation recorded, feel free to contact us and ask your questions via social media accounts that you see on your screen or the email address info at bitrix24.com. So Bitrix24 is turning and four years old today. Happy birthday to us, of course. That's the Beatrix 24 cloud service. The company itself is much, much older. We were founded in 1998, so we're almost 20 years old. And there has been a lot of change in happening to our service in these four years, and we are very, very proud of our accomplishments. So more than 1 million companies in 225 countries and territories have signed up with our service since 2012. Uh, 115,000 companies remain active users. And last year, our service availability stand uh, stood at 99.98. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Today, we will be talking about why Bitrix24 is now available to uh, unlimited users even in the free plans. We'll talk about new registration options, bots inside our instant messenger, new tasks, new CRM, new document management, and of course, the most important part, roadmap for 2016. So let me uh, start talking about Bitrix24 business strategy so you understand where we are coming from and where we're going to. We try to sum it up in one simple sentence, and this is what we came up with. Bitrix24 wants to make popular collaboration tools accessible to any organization anywhere in the world. So there are two parts to our business strategy, as you can see. Collaboration tools and any organization anywhere in the world. You've seen this screen before. This is Bitrix24, and we have over 35 tools available to you in a single location. This is no accident, this is by design. We understand that different organizations collaborate very, very differently. Some build the process around enterprise social networking. Others prefer task and project management or document management. The idea that contextual chat is the center of collaboration is very popular. And we think that you know the best way to collaborate yourself especially because in large organizations, different departments collaborate differently. So that's the two part. We also are very, uh, we pay attention where clients are and what their needs are. So if you go to bitrix24.com or bitrix24.de or ES, you will see the live map of Bitrix24 companies near you uh, who are using Bitrix24 right now. There isn't a single country where we have more than 25% of our users. So we are truly an international and global service. Again, this is by design. When we launched our service four years ago, it was immediately available in English, in German, and in Russian. We added Spanish and Ukrainian soon thereafter. Last year, Bitrix24, we created special websites for China, India, Brazil, European Union and this year Kazakhstan and Belarus has joined us as well. So it's not simply translated into different languages. You can pay in your own local currency. The pricing is not simply translated from US dollars. So for each location we have special prices. So please check those if you use bitrix24.com.br your prices in Brazilian rails are much much more affordable. And more importantly, because so many different countries are now passing the laws with regards how uh, personal data should be stored, we now host uh, Bitrix different Bitrix24 accounts in different countries. For example, if you're using Bitrix24 
DE or EU services, your data is hosted in Frankfurt, Germany. So we already have eight different data centers. So for each country, we have failover architecture. So we use, uh, we rent space in two data centers at the same time, uh, in case one of them fails. And we have plans to expand to Brazil, India, and China this year. So if you are in those countries, your service will get even faster. Let's return to the uh, tools and give you a little bit of background. In the beginning, when we were designing the service, there were a lot of internal discussions on what the service should be built around. So because it was originally designed as business collaboration platform, some of our team felt that workflow automation should be at the center of Bitrix 24. Others would say that you know, every company has documents, so document management is an, is an essential part. And we should concentrate on this. We had people who said that no, tasks are most important. Then there's this idea that instant messenger should be available to everyone. And of course, all of those tools are available to you in Bitrix 24. But now, thanks to uh, our recent survey that we've conducted in February, we have the precise figures how Bitrix 24 is used as a service and which tools are most popular. So, as you can see, the usage is fairly evenly distributed. However, the three uh, modules uh, stand apart. The number one communication tools in Bitrix 24 are most popular. Second place goes to task and project management and CRM occupies the third place. So our techs and product developers have thought a lot about this. And for each of those tools that are most popular, we thought, okay, let's make them even better. Let's give you more tools. And you will understand, I've talked about our broad strategy. Now you will be able to understand why we've added the tools that we've added, why we've changed things the way we change them. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's talk about communications. Last month, we've made Bitrix 24 available to unlimited users, even in the free plan. And the reason it was simple, Bitrix 24 was getting to be more and more popular among business users and nonprofits, schools, universities wanted to use Bitrix 24 as well, but there was this built-in handicap. The free plan was limited only to 12 users. After we looked at the usage statistics and that the communication block is actually the most popular, we crunched some numbers and we came up with this conclusion that, you know, since it's so important to you, we really should be giving it away for free because, you know, we can make money other ways. That's exactly what we did because now you have complete suite of communication tools available to you absolutely free of charge. So communication tools are comprised of our enterprise social networking, that's activity stream, our very powerful instant messenger, video conferencing, telephony, email, and email, <coughs> excuse me. Because after the switch, larger, much larger organizations started to sign up with Bitrix 24, and we had to tweak our registration options a little bit. So before that, if you remember, you had to invite users one by one individually inside your accounts. Now, you know, if you have 4,000 members in your association, you, you know, it, it's just too difficult. So this quick and simple formula to simply give a link to everyone, and they will be able to sign up for Bitrix 24 for your account. And you can, uh, there are a couple of uh, cool options available to you. For example, if you use corporate email address, you can set a rule that everyone who signs up with a corporate email address, they don't go through moderation. They're approved automatically. So the business tools, let me uh, explain how those work. So the free account comes with unlimited communication users, but business tools are limited to 12 users. What are these? These are CRM, task and, pro, uh, task and project management, Bitrix 24 Drive, and calendars. So by default, the first 12 people to sign up with your account will get those tools. However, as an admin, once every 24 hours, you can reassign those tools to people who really need them. 
let's face it, you know, not everybody is going to need CRM access. So why waste business tools on people who don't need that? So it's very, I think it's a win-win situation for everyone. You get unlimited free users. And uh, if you need business tools, you can give those to people who are going to use them. Another very important part of our communication strategy is working on improving our instant messenger, Bitrix24 chat. It was quite powerful even before this release. So if you look at all of the options available on your screen, you know, there is no other free business messenger that gives you as many tools as we do without any restrictions. Just to remind you, we do not have any uh, limits on history search, for example. And in the free plan, you can integrate, have as many integrations as you want to. So no limits, you have obviously instant messaging, you have video conferencing, screen sharing, and lots of other cool options. The one thing that we, thing that we didn't have and that we're adding to your accounts now is bots. The reason why bots are so popular is because they make life so much easier. Today's office environment is very fast paced. There are a lot of moving parts and it's really easy to forget things, let them fall through the cracks. And you know, the difference between a bot and a human being is that bots don't forget anything. So what we're doing now is we're giving a virtual assistant to every Bitrix24 user. Meet Mia. Mia stands for My Intelligent Assistant, and she is our in-house bot. You will get to know her really, really well. She will help you with a lot of things. The first uh, purpose of having Mia is uh, helping you learn about Bitrix24. She will also remind you about your schedule, and she's pretty good at small talk too. So you will soon meet Mia inside your Bitrix24 account. Of course, bots inside Bitrix24 are not limited to Mia. We've already added a Giphy bot. You know, GIFs are extremely popular in different messaging platforms. I'm sure you love GIFs as well. There is, you know, you can't really, no office is complete without a Giphy bot. So you can chat with this bot one on one, or you can invite him in your group chat and do a lot of cool stuff. Of course, you know, the bots in Bitrix24 are not all fun and games. They actually serve a real purpose, like engaging the audience, integrating Bitrix24 with other services. We think that, you know, probably 50% of our requests for help desk will be handled, handled via bots. Alerts, reminders, we support slash commands as well. And again, because our API is avail is open and we're just finishing documentation so our partners and users can add their own bots. We see real big future here. I've just had a ch chance to uh, play with Mia and she reminded me about my tasks that were past due. So she's going to help a lot with tasks as well. Let's talk about task management a little bit. Again, extremely powerful uh, platform has essentially everything. Gun chart, task delegation, task dependencies, lots and lots of cool stuff, but we didn't stop here. We want to give you even more cool options. This is the slide from my past presentation. And uh, I was explaining that when you're trying to create a world-class task management solution, you're faced with this dilemma. You can create a, you know, pretty simple task manager that is going to become very popular because it will appeal to the average Joe. This is, you know, these are 95 of population or like that. They simply, they want a simple way to create a task and make sure they don't forget about it. But then we have the second audience who we call project management maniacs. You know, they have hundreds of tasks running at the same time. They use gun chart, task dependencies, they want burn down charts project budgets, so on and so forth. And if you give all of the options that project managers uh, want, then the first type will feel alienated. But we think that we came up with a pretty clever solution. We gave you essentially two types of forms, the simple form for task, 
for the type, the first type, the average job, and the complete form uh, for the project management. And you can actually decide what are you more of. So if you look at our new project management form, you will see those pins. So you can customize task form exactly for yourself, how you use it. Whichever options you need, we have them enabled. And if you're not using uh, other options, then simply don't use them. We've added a lot of cool features as well. So for example, task reminders, you can now set reminders for yourself or for the person who is responsible for the task. If you look at our new repeating tasks, they now have interval repeats. So for example, if I want to run a task every third Wednesday, of each month, I can do that. You can also tell our system when to stop repeating tasks. So that's pretty cool. Another big ask us to integrate email with task more tightly. So we now have both task to email and email to task. So if you want to include email recipients in your task, if you want someone you know who is not part of Bitrix 24, your Bitrix 24 account, you and they're only able to uh, work with your task via email that is now available. So Susan, this person, she will receive information about the task and she will able to interact via simply uh, email client. She will be able to provide comments, upload documents, and everyone will be working together. Likewise, it is fairly easy to create a task from an email. You will see in shortly how easily this is done in Bitrix 24. All you have to do is go into your profile, select this special email address from your profile. Whenever you forward or send a message to that email address, a task is created automatically. You know, that's really how easy it is. You click send, boom, new task is created. We think that it's pretty impressive. And again, not many system give you these options absolutely free of charge and Bitrix 24 is. So if you remember our past presentation, we were saying that Bitrix 24 wants to give you the way to collaborate with tasks across different accounts and with email recipients. So the email recipient part is done and for this year we plan to finish cross collaboration on tasks between different Bitrix 24 accounts. What else is coming? So we will give you an ability to convert uh, track, uh, time track for a task to billable hours. So time tracking is already available inside tasks. We'll have a simple checkbox. If you have it enabled, those hours will translate into billable hours, which will translate in turn uh, in invoicing, which invoices are already available in our CRM. Right now, work groups and projects are the same entity. Some of you aren't very happy about that, so you will get a separate entity called projects. You will be able to print Gantt charts, add custom fields to your tasks, and a number of uh, resource tracking options and budgeting are coming your way as well. The one feature that I'm most excited about is ability to create a task from an activity stream post or a comment. I think this is going to be really, really cool. Our mobile tasks just got massively improved. Again, a lot of you guys are working with Bitrix 24 using smartphone only or primarily smartphone, and our tasks are now so much better when worked with via mobile. So let me just show you how it's done. You can interact, you receive push notifications anytime task is created or you receive a comment. You can delegate and do other stuff uh, right in your mobile. You see different statuses for different tasks. You can create a new task easily and add checkpoints if you want to. It's easy to select your participants and responsible people. So lots and lots of cool options. Uh, this was released this past week. So if you don't see these options, simply update your Bitrix 24 mobile app, and they will be available to you.
So you see everything is color coded. Tasks that are overdue, unread, require your attention. Everything is easy, easily visible. Okay, the CRM part is probably the one that got the most overhaul and that we have the most plans for this year. More uh, usage statistics number numbers. Just to remind you, it's a total sales cycle management solution. Has everything. You know, it's also known as lead to deal CRM. So uh, you have email marketing, you have sales automation, automation. Anything that you need in CRM is already available to you in Bitrix 24. And I uh, I started this presentation uh, with the reminder that our service is turning four years old exactly today. The CRM was created actually three years ago. So in short three years, we got really, really, you know, we got recognized as the best uh, CRM for 2016 by PC Magazine. It's uh, really nice to be listed along Salesforce and Zoho CRM who have been at this game for over a decade. And we're really, really happy how our CRM turned out and we have even more plans for it. So a little sneak preview for you guys. The major direction for our CRM for this year is going to be going omni-channel. In some countries it's called multi-channel CRM. So let me give you a, a bit of background about this idea. So information about your clients comes from different channels. So you may be talking to a client on the phone or they contacted you via web form or they purchase something in your online store or perhaps brick and mortar store and then this information ends up in the ERP which is integrated with CRM. You do email marketing and omnichannel CRM is a CRM that combines information from every channel that you interact with your clients in a single place. So that's what omnichannel CRM is and that's where we are going to. The focus uh, of the, uh, the first part of the Omnichannel CRM is going to be online chat and messengers. And here's why. So over half of world's population is already using mobile phones. A good chunk of those are active social media and instant messenger users. So this means that your clients want to talk to you, uh, contact you using WhatsApp and Facebook and Skype, uh, Viber and other messengers. And a lot of businesses are happy to comply. They list their WhatsApp number at the bottom of their page, but it's difficult to integrate messengers with the internal business logics and business processes inside your company. So here's what we have in store for you. So this is, we call this concept open line or open channels. An idea is simple. Whether your client contacts you using live chat form on your website or WhatsApp or Facebook or Bitrix24 network, it all ends up inside Bitrix24 instant messenger. The way open lines are going to work is very similar to Bitrix24 telephony. So you can create a queue and inquiries are going to be distributed according to the queue rules if somebody doesn't answer uh, in, in time so as you can see in this screenshot we've set the rules so if somebody doesn't answer within a minute this inquiry will be automatically routed to a next person in line and the cool thing about this is regardless whether people contact you with whatsapp or viber or skype or Telegram, it will all end up in Bitrix24 CRM and Instant Messenger, and your entire help desk or sales team will interact with the clients in one place. So in order for this to work successfully, we need to have API access to messengers, and the good news is that uh, a lot of those have already announced, like Facebook, Skype for Business, Telegram, they are already providing API access to businesses. So this is going to be very easy to implement once we are able to get API access keys. So these are the concept um, screenshots to give you a good idea of how it's going to work. So your client is contacting you by Facebook or live chat form on your website 
and this request ends up in Bittrex 24 Instant Messenger. Your employee can now discuss this inquiry with other employees without client seeing anything. Of course, we will have bots integrated in this as well. You will have a library of frequently asked questions to speed answers up. And we think that this will massively, massively, massively improve customer satisfaction because when people use messengers, one of the reasons why they prefer using messengers is because they know the answer is going to be almost instant. And in order in, for, um, in today's world to compete successfully, your, your uh, help desk has to be super fast. So we think that this tool will help you immensely. Of course, instant messenger is not the only communication channel that clients use. Email remains to be a uh, very popular channel as well. And again, we've had email integrated with Bitrix 24 CRM from the very beginning, as you remember. However, we had a limit. You could have only one email address integrated with your entire Bitrix 24 accounts. And we're going to do away with this limit this summer. Each of your sales agents will be able to connect their own email addresses to Bitrix 24 CRM, even if it's personal email address like Gmail, not the corporate one. Because a lot of times salespeople migrate from company to company and they have all of their business contacts inside their email account. So we'll give you a pretty easy way to integrate. Uh, your sales agents will be able to integrate their email with Bitrix 24 CRM, and there will be an easy way to separate personal communication from business. The third channel that is very popular in e-commerce is web forms. And of course, we have those in Bitrix 24 as well via API or Bitrix 24 marketplace apps. This is getting a major improvement. So we'll give you a simple visual web form builder, you will be able to build forms both for your websites or forms that are hosted on bitrix24.com because you don't always need to integrate those forms inside your website. For example, if you're running a seminar session, a training session, webinar, you may want to create a, a sign up form and email it to all of your clients via Bitrix 24 email marketing tools. So you will be able to do that with those web forms and information that ends up being entered in this web form will automatically uh, be imported in our CRM. And we thought about you know, how, how we can make this process even better and came up with a number of uh, little cool features. For example, if you create a web form that has a field that's not currently present in your CRM, the field will be automatically created inside CRM, so you don't have to do this work twice. Okay, so you talk to your clients, and of course you want to get paid. We had quotes and invoices for a couple of years now. Now we're giving you, just like forms, you have now public links for invoices that can be paid online. Obviously, we're going to support all popular systems. PayPal, you will be able to pay with credit cards. And as you know, we're open to requests. If, if and we know that money bookers is very popular in uh, India, if you have systems in your country that are not present here, feel free to contact us. If you're still conservative, if you don't, do, don't want to use online invoice payments, we will give you customizable printable invoices and you will be able to print invoices out as well. So because we are adding this awesome new omnichannel CRM, we need a new CRM entity and this is client profile dashboard. Now this is blurred because we're still having internal discussions what exactly it should look like and you know it's, it's a top secret project but the idea is this. Every single channel that your customer has used to communicate or to purchase from you is going to be reflected in the client profile. So if the person purchased after an email promotion, you will see this in the client profile. If the person purchased in store using loyalty card or a coupon, this will be 
available and visible in the client profile. So your sales agents will be able to look at a client and you will see, aha, we've reached this person by let's say email and phone and uh, online promotion in, in a, a brick and mortar store visit. And you will see which channel works best for this particular client. This is really, really cool. Okay, we're again, the new mobile options or the recurring theme of this presentation. This is our new, amazing, awesome mobile CRM that's heading your way this summer. Again, a little bit of background. Uh, more and more companies are now, well, not really companies, but small businesses, or I might even say micro business, they're doing away with computers completely and they're running their entire business or micro business on a smartphone. So obviously, uh, in order for you to use CRM effectively, you should have the same tools available in your smartphone as in web version. And that's exactly where we're going to. Our CRM is going to be, you will be able to get access to all of the tools right on your smartphone. And most importantly, the, the stuff that you're, uh, the feature, one feature that you're really impressed with and repeatedly tell us that that's, that works really well in our CRM is tight integration with telephony. So because smartphone is also a phone set, we think you guys will love this. Let's talk about our telephony. If you remember our this screenshot from the past presentation, Bitrix 24 numbers, local phone numbers were available in 43 countries and now it's 58. As promised, we have added countries uh, where proof of residence is required in order to rent local phone numbers. So if you live in Germany or Netherlands or France or Spain, other countries on this list, you can rent local phone number directly in Bitrix24, provided you can upload your bank statement or utility bill or national ID. We will automatically forward those documents to local telecoms. They will look at them and approve you and you will be able to use our telephony. It is probably the most powerful free online business system available right now. You know, when we thought about this presentation, we looked at the slide and that it was, well, we have everything that we wanted to. There are actually only two features that are left for this year. We are going to give you IVR and progressive dialer. Everything else is available to you. And again, I want to stress that it's all available to you absolutely free of charge in Bitrix24. You only pay for a local phone number rental, for outbound phone calls, or for integration uh, between your PBX and Bitrix24 by renting SIP connector. Everything else is free of charge. So we talked about the big three Bitrix24 components that are used most often. Communications, tasks, and CRM. But we're not forgetting about other features. So document, ma document management and calendars were improved as well. Uh, Bitrix24 is now fully integrated with Office 365 for Business. Of course, if you used our services, you know that Office 365 integration was available to you for a couple of years, but that's MS Office Online. The Office 365 for Business is a different beast, and Microsoft is quite protective uh, about API access. Luckily, we have pretty good relations with European offices, and they gave us early API access. So now you can authorize in Bitrix 24 with your Office 365 for Business login. You can connect your corporate account to Bitrix 24 and edit documents online there as well. The, uh, the calendar, uh, we have a lot of plans for calendar as well. The one that you can see right now is company calendar is now available in all cloud accounts. So if you have you know, events that are re relevant to everyone, or if you want to use company calendar for extracurricular activities, this is now available to you. We've also massively improved integration with Google Calendar. Google switched their um, integration methods about a year, and a year and a half ago, which led to some 
uh, difficulties with some Google Calendar users. Now, if you want to integrate your Google Calendar with Bitrix 24, it is virtually done with one click. That's how easy it is. You actually have to log into your Google accounts, click one button, and it's done. So when will you see the features that I've talked about? Okay, already available to you, stuff that you see on your screen. Free unlimited users, bots are there, tasks, mobile tasks, company calendar, and Office 365 for business integration. Most of the CRM features, including omnichannel CRM, is planned for this summer, probably June. You know, it's not always easy to give you the precise date, but we are pretty confident that you're going to start the summer with the really awesome new CRM. Uh, you also probably know, if you've been with Bitrix 24 for several years, that we have several major releases a year, so there will be a full release as well probably in November. So there are also some features that are not covered in this roadmap that are coming your way. We're not ready to give out all the secrets quite yet. Okay, so since today is our fourth anniversary, we decided to run a one week sale. It is available to all new commercial users. So if you've never purchased a, a, a paid plan, for Bitrix 24, you can do this this week and save a lot. So Bitrix 24 standard and professional subscriptions for 12 months are available at 40% off. That's a lot of money. And if you want to purchase six month subscriptions, those are available at 20% off. I didn't even mention self-hosted Bitrix 24 yet, but you, you really should try self-hosted Bitrix 24 as well because it's much more powerful than our cloud. It has a number of tools that are not available in the cloud like help desk, e-learning, e-orders. E so if you're purchasing self-hosted Bitrix 24 before April 17, you get free extra users. Okay, so we've talked today about all of the new cool features that we've added. I want to thank you and our amazing team of developers. We have uh, about 120 developers already and the company is approaching 200 employees. Those are the people who make this available. 